Welcome to another tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're going to talk about formatting currency values. I'm going to show you how to use the nifty thousands separator, the little comma there, and how to use colors. Today's question comes from Sophia in Charleston, South Carolina, one of my platinum members. Sophia says, I'm trying to format a currency value to show a thousands separator so that 1000 shows up as one comma zero zero zero. However, numbers like 900 are showing up as zero comma nine zero zero, which is not what I want. Help. I love that little help at the end there, Sophia. That's cute. Um, yeah. Now, first of all, if you're in the United States, you use a comma. If you're in other countries, you might use a, a dot or some other delimiter i don't know i just know us canada we use the comma okay change yours accordingly if you're in a different country all right sophia the problem that you're having is that there are two different characters that you can use for formats when it comes to numbers or currency values there's the zero and there's the pound sign or the hashtag or whatever you want to call it we'll call it the pound sign all right a zero says put a digit here if there is no digit put a zero Whereas the pound sign says, put a digit here. If there is no digit, leave it blank. That's the difference. All right, let's go take a look at a couple of examples. But first, if you have not yet watched my format video, go watch this. I explain the format property and function and a lot more of a general overview of what these things mean. So if you don't know how to use these, go check this video out first. Today's video is going to be specifically on formatting numbers and currency. All right, so here I am in the Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can download a copy off my website if you want to. And we've got in our customer form here, we've got a credit limit. Now you could put the format here. You could put it directly in the table if you want to. If you plan on having this format propagate through all the different forms and reports in your database, what you can do is you could start by putting it in the table itself. Watch this design view. Now come down here where it says credit limit. And here's the format. Now, right now we're using the basic currency format, okay, which is the pretty simple, straightforward one that you get. All right, if you want to change this, you can type right here in the format. I'm going to zoom in so you can see Shift F2, okay? I'm going to change this to what uh, Sophia had up front. She had 0, 0, 0, 0, okay? Hit OK. Now, notice right away you see this little guy. This is in newer versions of Access only. It says, do you want to update this format everywhere the credit limit is used? All right, this will propagate through all the different forms and reports that are based on credit limit. If I say yes, it'll say, okay, apply it to these guys. All right, sure, go ahead. Okay. And if you do this up front when you build your table before you build your forms and reports, it'll automatically pull that format in. Now, if we go and take a look at the values here, save the table, sure. I am going to come over here to the right. I'm going to slide this guy to the left so I don't have to keep sliding over there. All right, here's the credit limit. And as you can see, this record, for example, is 500, and it's got the zero in front of it. That's because the zero placeholder says always put something here, even if it, there's nothing there. All right, and notice we're not seeing any cents. If I type in $500.25, you don't see it. Okay, so let's go back to design view, and let's change this now. Instead, I want to see this, all right, pound signs, like that, okay, hit okay, we'll, we'll propagate at the end when we're done, save it, come back in here, and now notice that looks a lot better. We're still not seeing pennies, though, all right, so if you want to see the pennies, you can come in here and go, you could put pound signs in there for the pennies if you want to, if you don't want to see any, see, I, sometimes it brings it all the way back over to the right, see? It, it shows those blank spots there though, okay? So what I like to do in this case is I like to go like that. Here, I'll zoom in again, right? These are all optional, or you might wanna see a zero here. You might want that, all right? If that zero shows zero, hit okay. All right, now look at that. The format went back to standard, look at that. Some of these predefined formats are already in there. Yeah, see, and it drags it back over to the right here sometimes. Get over there. Stay there. Sit. <laughs> That's one of the problems with tables is you really can't control, you know, the formatting, the widths, the placement of objects inside a table. That's why for interfacing with your user, it's very important to always stick with forms. This is just for me to show you. 
You, the developer, can play with your tables. Your end users, if you're building the database for other people, they'll never work with your tables directly. They should. Okay, so that's how you show it with less than a thousand. If you just got a 95 in here, right? You'll see it like that. If you put in five million, let's put in five zero 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 zero, right? Those extra commas should propagate in there, right? Even into the billions. Now, there's more that you can do with formats than just that. All right, let's have some fun here. Let's go back into the format here instead of standard. Let's put this back to this. And let's say I want my negative numbers to show up inside of parentheses. So in your format, you can have four different sections. Okay, and the sections are separated with semicolons. So you can say, okay, that's what I want for positive values. For negative values, I want the same thing. So I'm gonna copy that, Control C. But I want it inside of parentheses like that okay so that's the second section see that section two is negative values let's see what happens here hit okay save it preview it and again see okay let's you know, slide over here all right let's make this negative 200. look at that it's now displaying inside of parentheses see negative 25 cents look at that all right, let's 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 have some more fun. Let's say I want that negative value to be red. Watch this inside of square brackets, same section inside of square brackets, put the word red inside of that section, that square brackets like that. Hit OK. Save it I'm back in here. I guess I'm stuck scrolling to the right. <laughs> and there you go. There's your red stuff. That's pretty cool, huh? How about for zero values, I want to see a, a dash instead of a zero. Well, that's the third section. The third section is what do you want to see if it is zero, right? We got positive, negative, then zero is the next section. So I just want to put a, I'm just going to put a dash in there. Let's see what happens. Put a dash there. All right. Now, Access immediately changed it to a slash dash. <laughs> backslash dash actually all right that means the next character is literal is what that means you could just put the dash in there i never remember that myself okay and now let's take a peek and if i put a zero value in here now look at that i get a dash i know accountants like that a lot how about three dashes like dash 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 instead let's make this now dash, 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 and look at that. Access puts it inside of quotes. I know it's kind of hard to see, see? Inside of quotes. And let's also, let's make it green. All right, hit okay. Save it. And what do we got? We got three green dashes right there. That's kind of hard to see, but right there. Pretty cool, huh? All right, there's one more thing. There's one more section. There's four sections in here. The last section, the fourth section, is what to do if this value is null. Null means there is no value. Remember, null is different from zero. Okay, if you're not familiar with null, go watch this video. It explains null in more detail. Null says, I ain't got no value. All right, so there's nothing here. So we can put, let's put the word, we gotta put this in this semicolon. Let's put the word none in here like that, and let's make it blue. Okay, so if, they, so if there is no value, it'll say none. People, people don't necessarily know what null means, so we'll put the word none in there. It means they don't have one. Save it. Let's open it back up again. And slide over here, and let me delete this guy's credit limit. And look at that. It says none, and it's blue. Isn't that pretty cool? <laughs> I like this stuff. This is pretty cool. And again, you could put this anywhere you want. You could put it in the table. You could put it in the reports. You could put it in your, in your forms. You can put it in the format function. Lots of places you can put this stuff. If you want to learn more about formatting numbers or currency fields, I'll give you a link to Microsoft's page where they've got all kinds of different information in here and most of the stuff I've already pretty much talked about. There's more stuff too. There's, there's other stuff you can read about with different currencies and percentages and all kinds of weird stuff, right?
And I also cover this in more detail myself in my Access Expert Level 8 class. Yes, I know this is a beginner video, but in my expert class, I go into this in a lot more detail. So that's it, Sophia. I hope that uh, answers your question. I hope everybody else learned something. That's going to be your tech help video for today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down at the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, Level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the Tech Help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use 
the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now, answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.